Okay, there you go. That's that's the best thing I've seen today. Yeah. And I don't know if that's saying much, but it's the best thing that I've seen. So, I mean, what's the play here? Do we just sit on 18? Or? Absolutely not. We're going to get right up into that thing. A little different video style here, since this was a special moment in my chasing career. Don't hold your breath, it's rather unceremonious, except for the three individuals in my car last week, and probably for Farmer Andy, who may have lost a few dozen corn stalks, and apparently his pants. Susan, get my pants! No, don't worry. Tornadoes of this magnitude don't occur in Wisconsin anymore. But imagine? Imagine if they did? Imagine if the state wasn't garbage? Oh, but, but Hunter, didn't you see that EF3 over in Boscobel on Saturday? That tornado's technically even rated higher than the one you showed in this video here. Why, yes I did, armchair weather enthusiast. And that tornado wouldn't even compare to the Columbus, Nebraska behemoth. Susan, get my pants! So after playing catch-up for the first half of the afternoon, because you can't skip your physicals, people, Seth Tyler and I managed to navigate our way in western Iowa County, just in time to see multiple storms attempt Tornado Genesis. That's what we've been looking for. It's absolutely garbage attempt, but it's welcome. I mean, I never said they had to be good attempts, right? It's been a while, but we just saw it. I can actually take a picture of something and send in a report. Are you sure you know that most of that is rain in your report? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, ping it. Please call a beefy wall pod. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can do that. Beefy non-rotating wall pod. Okay. So here we go. On our merry way northbound on Sinbad Road, just northeast of Edmond. Rainex working its wonders on the windshield, and off in the distance is a cynical cylinder of non-rotating air beneath some cumulonimbus. As soon as we stop atop this elevated vantage, a thin column of stratocumulus develops out of seemingly thin air, away from our assumed area of interest. Yep. Stay right here, actually. What's that right in front of us to our 11 o'clock? That's what I'm wondering. What the heck? What the hell is that? Corn infection? Yeah, corn infection. Wipers again? It's gone now, whatever that was. No, it's still there. Well, it's, it's like scud. It's just lifting off the... the looking deck. up at the cloud base, and I don't see anything interesting, but... No. Uh, do you guys see any rotation with that? No. I don't, I don't think we can discern any rotation. Nothing tornadic here, but it was an interesting spectacle. We noted this a few more times beneath this rapidly evolving shell cloud slash pseudo inflow band thing. This cloud mass was only moving right to left, or from the northeast to the southwest. Hmm. Weird. Almost as if it was pointing to the direction we should be heading to. And that's what we did. We wanted to get on the western side of a new cell which was developing on the Grant and Iowa County border, while keeping the Dubuque County cell in potential play. Then, the Dubuque County cell gets the ever so evasive red polygon. I guess Iowa's back on the menu. It's 551 now, and we're heading south out of Livingston on State Highway 80. I give the cell to our east a couple more glimpses as it ventures into central Iowa County. I notice a peculiar light gray pall that extends beneath darker gray cumuliform. It's well offset to the north of other scuddy tendrils, but I can only discern the top quarter of it. Thanks to the darn corn. Stupid corn. Stupid frickin' corn. A bend in the highway is upon us, and so is a slight elevation gain, thank God. Looking directly behind us, Tyler and I capture a more convincing glance of the suspected feature and urge Seth to pull over. Guys, I think. Iowa is off the menu! Hey, do we have, uh, Tyler, can you get NWX's, uh, or MKX's weather service on the phone, oh perhaps? Oh my gosh, I went into the fog. That's a legitimate little funnel cloud. Look at that. Get to the ground! Oh yeah, yep, that's, def that's stretching up there. Very, uh, well, unenthused. 
<laughs> oh, look at it's roping out, guys. Oh, that's awesome. This is it. This is Manifest Destiny at its finest. This is my first Wisconsin tornado. Hey, what's our what's our time? We got 5:52 p.m. 5:53, yeah. 5:53, looking east. We're we're one mile south of Livingston, Wisconsin, looking east at a tornado. Not going to Iowa. We're not going to Iowa now. What the heck? Hey, can can we get can we get MKX on the phone? This is lasting about one minute. Like, terrible contrast. Barely make it out in the viewfinder, unfortunately. Then let's enhance the contrast, silly. How's this? Is this good? Better? Worse? I don't know. It's probably worse. But, hey, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat there. That's pretty neat. We're just gonna mute this part here for the next few seconds because Tyler was swearing up quite a bit of a storm. He was struggling to locate the phone number for Milwaukee's National Weather Service. All right, back to regularly scheduled programming. Oh, uh, we're in, oh wait, we're in Grant County now. So we're technically, well, yeah, we're looking into Iowa, Iowa, Iowa though. The tornado's in Iowa County. The tornado's we're in, in Iowa County, we're in Grant County. And just like that, she's just about done so. Okay, well, that was a cool one minute of tornado. Where do I find their phone number? Hmm. You know, Tyler, that's actually a pretty good question. How about Google? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all at the next storm. Or maybe not. Because apparently out of the dozens and dozens of chasers that were roaming across southern Wisconsin this afternoon and evening, apparently only Seth, Tyler, and I witnessed the Linden tornado. Which I guess given its 13 hundredths of a mile of a path length makes sense, but... It's kind of disappointing. We gotta do better. So maybe I won't see you guys out there. I don't know. God bless. That's what I mean, guys. You think you could sneak on down to Platteville and go into Iowa? Not so fast, my friend. Can you imagine if that happened 20 minutes later?